morning les from retired and living the dream and today's video it's an early video i haven't even had a shave this morning it's 8 30 in the morning and i'm going to start washing the car and this video is going to be about reasons why you should retire as soon as you can this was sparked off by something i read and heard on the news the other day so i'll start washing the car you know it's going to be another long one because i'm washing the car so this all started off when I heard a statement the other day and it sort of made me angry, the fact that the statement was said. And um, it was, I'm going to refer, I mean, I'm originally from England, so so it's, it's all English news that I watch, but I'm sure the same thing is happening in America, Australia, Canada, everywhere, everywhere. But the... The governor of the Bank of England turned around and said a statement the other day that ordinary people should accept that they're going to be poor. The governor of the Bank of England says we will have to accept we're going to be poor. We shouldn't be chasing for more and more money because it will affect the economy. Absolute BS affect the economy we all know what's affecting the economy and that's the the profiteering of all of the wealthy people in the world i've got nothing against those people who are wealthy in the world good luck to them they've worked hard to get where they so i've got no problem with that at all and uh but share the wealth around which they don't do so going Getting back onto my story, this wound me up tremendously with regard to. I learned a lesson many years ago about um, the elite and they don't actually see what's going on in my youth training days when I was 18 and I'm 62 now. And the lesson that I learned then is being played out now is that the wealthy people who were up there don't see what's going on down below with everything else in the world because they're too concerned at making their own money anyway i digress so i'm going to go back to um reasons why you should retire early i'll keep referring to me notes because at the end of the day that what keeps me going on the it's not scripted but it just keeps me on the on the um on the journey so i can explain what i'm going to explain so reasons why to retire early <laughs> if there's any reason as far as that the governor of the bank of england has just said you're always going to be poor so if you're always going to be poor and stop chasing the money and stop chasing big uh, increases and things like that why carry on working because he's already said basically you're never going to get it so i was fortunate and i am i really am and i count my blessings every day with regard to when i was 19 years old i joined a job which was the fire service in england and at 19 year old, one of the statements he said, we can retire at 50. Well, to a 19 year old, 50 is years and years and years away. And uh, it didn't even enter my mind about retirement because I, here I was embarking on a new career at 19 year old. The last thing in my mind was retirement. But uh, it's wow, it's one of the smartest moves I ever made. And I only made that move because I was working for the steelworks at the time and we were on 13 week strike. So after six weeks without no money, I think this, this sucks, this isn't good. So I looked and I got offered a job with the fire service and I worked there for 30 years and I loved every minute of it. So it was a good choice. And along came with that is that I could retire at 50. So I did. I retired at 50 year old on my 50th birthday and never ever looked back. Now I know there's going to be people out there. I'm fortunate. Yes, I am. 
at the time, at the time I was lucky I was in the right job. So, retirement. Let me have a look at my notes. Uh, okay. I'm 62 year old now. I've just de uh, come back from England and I was diagnosed with emphysema. And I'm 62 year old. Do I have a problem with that? Nothing at all, not at all. It's all to do with getting old. We're all getting older and we're all gonna suffer various health issues as we get older. So somebody that's at my age, at 60, 62, in England at the minute, they can't retire until the 66. So the health reasons, you're working and your health is deteriorating, but you're still expected to work. So you know, as you're getting older, your health is going to deteriorate, is why I retired at 50, because I wanted to do many, many things. And I did many, many things. I travelled around the world for two years, meeting some interesting people in an interesting lifestyle, and it opened my eyes. Now, travel does open your eyes, because you see a different way of living. And... Uh, a little bit of info as far as you don't need a lot to retire you need something obviously but you don't need a lot now my channel here retired and living the dream I mean look where I am I'm not a millionaire I'm not a wealthy person I haven't got a lot of savings I live on me fire brigade pension which isn't a lot but it affords me a far, far better lifestyle than I ever could afford to live in England. So that's being smart and looking where your money goes further. And okay, you're moving. You're moving away from family and friends and things like that. But you make other friends when you move to another country. I've got a number of friends here and we have a good social life. Because we're all retired, we can all do the... At the drop of a hat, we can say, let's go and have a, a barbecue on the beach. Now, for those people who are working, you can't do that at the drop of a hat and say, oh, let's go and have a barbecue on the beach. So being retired opens a lot more doors for you. So that's as far as health is concerned. Why do you want to give the best part of your life to somebody who will replace you within a week or two of when you've gone. And that's what they'll do. Because the minute you put your application in to retire, the job vacancy will go up and somebody else will take your place. In the scheme of things, you are just a cog in the machine. And the machine will still work when you remove your cog, because we'll just put a new cog in its place. So don't ever think that you're irreplaceable, because you are. Your bosses and line managers may tell you, oh yeah, yeah, with the job couldn't run without you. I used to be a manager in the Fiber Kid, and you tell people all of these things to get, to empower them with the, the feeling that I'm needed, I'm needed. And it's true, everybody's needed in every job. But you just reaffirm that to people and it makes them feel good. But never ever think the job will, won't run without you, because it will. And it'll run very well with you and it'll run very well without you. So, retire before your health deteriorates, before your health goes. Because this next one, I'm going to say, is the most important one out of the things I'm going to say about retiring. 
is time. We all know how much money we have. We all know how much money we can earn. But the thing we can't buy is time. You can never buy time. And that's the most important thing. Again, 66 is the age of normal retirement. So you're 66 and you're coming up to retirement normally. And uh, so if you've got 10 years in you of relatively good health, that'll put you at 76. 76. Can you do the things at 76 that you can do at 66? No. You can't. And this is where your time comes in. Do you really want to give the best part of your life to some other people when for not a lot of money you can live a good life and live a better life than probably what you're doing now? It means making big decisions, big move, movements and taking charge of your life because believe me, you don't need a lot of money. You don't need a lot of money. Now I live here in Thailand. I'm not saying everybody needs to come to Thailand, but have a look at cheaper places to live. And I live on about 12 to 1300 pounds a month and I'm buying this house. This, is a, this was a new car, three years old now. Could he afford this lifestyle in England? Not at all. But I can afford it here. <coughs> when people retire, what do they want to do? They want to travel. They want to see the world. So go and do it. I live in a beautiful location, five minutes away from the beach. And uh, easily travel all over Thailand and see some beautiful places. So we've discussed health, we've discussed time, and uh, yeah, relationships. Now relationships is, is sort of a funny thing, because I remember when I was married and we had two kids, we depended on our grandparents to look after the kids whilst we were working because we were never wealthy. Both of us at one time used to have to work and um, we found it very difficult and we relied upon our grandparents to look after the kids whilst we were both at work on the days that we were both after work. Now eventually what happened is my wife finished work and I took on extra work which was foolish for me so she didn't have to work. So by retiring early you will have a, a detrimental effect on your family. But what you've got to think of, a little bit, and it's not being selfish, it's been about, you've worked all of your life, you've got to where you are, and your kids are gonna to have to find a way of coping and, and, and sorting things out, because we did. I took on extra work so my wife could um, be at home with the kids. So there, there is always a way and why should you spoil your happiness in your later life? Because by this time you've got more years behind you than you have in front of you. So you need to enjoy your golden years, it's called, of retirement. And if you don't, well then, you know, that's your, that's your story. You could be laid on your hospital bed thinking, I wish I'd done this, I wish I'd done that, I wish I'd done the other. And in hindsight, we can all say that. I mean, some people enjoy life with the family, being with the grandkids. But eventually that will stop. The grandkids will grow up and then you, now you're a bit older and now you need to seriously look at where you're going and what you're doing because now you're much older. So I've done a couple of things ski card I'll put it up on there ski card spending kids inheritance don't be afraid of spending your kids inheritance because 
you work hard for that amount of money. And I've got nothing against providing for your kids, but I grew up in a poor background, poor family. We were always poor. We only ever had one holiday as a child. Only ever one. And I grew up with the fact that, oh, we're always poor. This is, this is the way we are, we're always poor. My dad worked hard, my mum worked hard, but we were always poor. We lived in a council house, so social housing. But I've got to say, as a child, I think I had a good, good upbringing. And my moral scruples and principles, which I believe in strongly, helped me along my way. I'm not a clever person, but I've grasped every opportunity that comes my way. Some has failed, some hasn't. And um, for me, I've had a good life. I mean, look where I am now. If you'd have told me this when I was 20 year old, when I joined the fire service, that I would be living halfway across the world, I would have just laughed. My holidays then were to Spain and France by 20 years old. That's my worldly travels by then. So don't be afraid of spending your kids' inheritance because at the end of the day, it's your life. You've got to do something before you curl your toes up. So how much is the amount of money you need to retire? <laughs> I've been asked that question so many times. My answer to it is wherever you have. You've got to make that do wherever you have to retire and you can make that happen again I'm fortunate you know I live on 1200 pounds 12 to 1300 pounds a month and I live here and I live a wonderful life and uh, so it can be done but you can't probably live that lifestyle and the quality of life in your home country because like in England wow just everything is expensive. I went back to England for nine weeks and I couldn't believe, I couldn't afford to live in England. I would have had to go back to work and earn some money just to live. And here, I can live on my pension in this beautiful location. So I've done plenty of other videos on how you can live here on that amount of money. So watch them and uh, to learn from them. So getting back to, to money, some people will say, oh, one more year, one more year and I'm going to retire. And then it'll be, oh, I haven't got quite enough, I'm going to do one more year. And then one more year, one more year, it'll turn into another five or six years. There's people I work with, retired at the same age as me, and within three months are back to work at another job. And uh, oh, I'm going to retire when I'm 60. I'm going to retire when I'm 60. And now they're 62 and they're still working. So, when is enough enough money? And the answer is never enough money. Because, you, you know, you could always use more and you can always spend more. Now, the thing is with us, I'm going to do another video about earning extra money whilst you're retired. And it is possible, it's not easy. It took me some time to start doing it, but I'm doing it. And I started it as a hobby, and it, it's sort of, I'm never gonna be wealthy, I'm never gonna be a millionaire from it. But it's like everything else, you've got to learn new skills. And uh, at one time, I wasn't a firefighter, and I learned how to be a firefighter. Somebody showed me, somebody trained me up. An electrician. At one time I wasn't an electrician. But I went back to college, somebody showed me, and I learned, learned how to do it. So now, with the age of technology, there's always ways. Udemy courses. You can learn anything on Udemy. You can learn anything on YouTube. Just type in anything on YouTube and there'll be a video about it somewhere. So you can learn new skills, but what I would say is learn these skills before you, you bite the bullet and, and move to another country and change your life drastically. There's always a way 
of making some money and I've done it all my life. So that's my little rant about retiring early, when, why you should retire early. I hope you found it some use. Um, subscribe would be nice. If you've got any comments, leave your comments down below. So until the next time, bye for now.